Now that things have started opening up a bit now with shops opening this week and the church is able to open for prayer, we've been wondering what life will be like after lockdown. If you've read our e-newsletter for the last couple of weeks, you'll have seen that we would like to hear from you about how you have found this lockdown time. What are the things we have gained and what would we like to hold on to when life returns to some sort of normality? What are the things that we have gained but would like to lose at the end of the lockdown? What have we lost during the lockdown that we would like to have back? And what have we lost that we are glad to see the back of? I thought I'd have a go at answering some of these questions myself and share them with you today in the hope that it might stimulate you into thinking about these questions. It's good to reflect sometimes on our lives especially during a time when we've all had to face change to our lives in one way or another. So here goes. What have I gained and would like to keep? Life has become rather less pressurised, more calm, less noisy. There's been a bit more time for prayer, reading, thinking, going out for a walk every day. I've also had a bit more time for myself, for my family. I've been able to do a few more things for me and have really appreciated this. I've been able to upgrade some of my computer skills. I think we've gained a greater sense of community, of caring for one another and a sense of being the church outside of the building, which is really important. Secondly, what have I gained but would like to lose? I feel like saying square eyes. I seem to have spent an awful lot of time staring at my computer screen or other devices. I'd never heard of Zoom before we went into lockdown, but now I seem to spend half my life on Zoom conference calls for worship, meetings, training sessions, etc. They can be very draining and give you a headache if you do too much. There have been some benefits, but I would be glad to lose at least some of the Zoom meetings. What have we lost and want to have back? I really missed the personal face-to-face -face contact with people. I've missed not visiting my parents, seeing friends and you all, of course. I've really missed worship in church, sharing in Holy Communion with you all and having those little chats over coffee after our services. I've missed not getting alongside people in different ways, whether in people's homes or in the town. It's been so empty. I've also missed not being able to go away on holiday, have a meal out or the cinema. I've missed not being able to plan properly for special events in the future because we don't know if we were able to do them. That's been really frustrating. And finally, what have we lost and don't want back? The rush, the pressure, the hassle sometimes of having to juggle so much all at the same time. The noise of traffic in the roads and in the air. The pollution. Some of you have told me how much you've enjoyed this time. It may seem bizarre, but there have been many benefits. We've come to appreciate nature, the birdsong, the clean air and blue sky, and the wonderful weather we've had. I hope we might have learned something about this time, about ourselves, about what's important in life, about our priorities, and not taking simple things for granted. I hope we may be able to hold on to some of these things and not get sucked back into frantic, hassled lives once all this is over, whenever that may be. All this reminds me of some verses from Scripture which I'd like to finish with from Mark's Gospel. I'm quoting from the Message version of the Bible, which puts it into contemporary language. Jesus said, Are you tired, worn out, burnt out on religion? Come to me. Get away with me and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest, 
walk and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you learn to live freely and lightly. I wonder if this is what God has been teaching me and perhaps you. I, I hope we might learn from this as we go forward. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that you long for us to turn to you and put our lives into your hands. During these times of uncertainty, of not knowing what is going to happen next, help us to put all our hope and trust in you, to learn from you, so that we may live freely and lightly. In the name of Jesus our Lord. Amen. So do let us know how you got on in lockdown. We'd love to hear your responses. Thanks very much.